Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTP News from Thailand Radio and Television Station. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of April 14, 2020, two patients with COVID-19 infection were recovered and officially discharged after being treated at the General Hospital. Previously, the patient number 117 and 118 were admitted to the hospital on March 19 and tested positive for COVID-19. From April 1, 2020, they were isolated and treated at the General Hospital for health monitoring and treatment. As of April 12, their test results were negative for SARS-CoV-2 after being tested twice until March 30 and 31st. Once again, their tests were negative after the process of treatment and then they were killed. As receiving the decision to leave the hospital, they spread their happiness and gratitude to the doctors and medical staff of the General Hospital for their dedicated treatment. Currently at the General Hospital, the patient number 252, a 6-year-old boy living in Ho Chi Minh City, who is still being isolated for treatment in the morning of April 14, his heart was fine without cough, fever, difficulty breathing, with normal pulse, blood pressure, stress and Right and eating as usual. Tenant city, towns, and districts in the province are still continuing to strictly implement Directive 15 and 16 of the Prime Minister and Directive 4 and 5 of the Province of People Committee on social distancing, staying indoor, and just going out in case of necessities. According to the order of the government to fight against COVID-19 in the current period, it needs to strictly implement the entire social distancing, absolutely not to neglect it and subject it. Tenants, districts, towns and cities have implemented many measures such as propagating and mobilizing people not together, closely controlling the border, strictly and timely handling cases of not wearing masks in public places and mask gatherings. On April 16, 36 inspection delegations inspected and supervised localities. It inspected 403 cases, detected 59 ones of violations, reminded 56 ones and 122 ones. In addition, it also penalized for people not wearing masks in public places, with the fine of 100,000 to 200,000 Viet Nam Dong for each case. Recently, Kono Nguyễn Tài Sơn, political commissioner of the provincial Bataga and leaders of the Office of Staff, Office of Political Affairs of the provincial Bataga, pay an inspection visit to field post of epidemic prevention in Jotan district in the province. At these places, Kono Nguyễn Tài Sơn graciously visited, encouraged and raised the efforts of officials and soldiers who have well implemented the task of preventing illegal immigration and campaigning people on both sides of both to limit contacts and mass gatherings, especially during the time when Cambodian people and ethnic Khmer people in the province celebrate the traditional third holiday of Chon Chanam Chamay. Currently, it is entering the beginning of rainy season, so it is very important to ensure a safe accommodation, prevent from thunder and whirlwind. In addition, it is also very important to ensure the health and spirit of people who directly participate in the missions at field posts due to the long expected epidemic situation. It is noted that there are 121 field stations, posts, and trace points in the borderlines to prevent COVID 19. At this point, there are forces of police, militaries, and border guards keeping watch for 24 per 24 hours, patrolling on day and night, determining to well perform the task of blocking, inspecting, and controlling people and means of transport. In the morning of April 14, 2020, at Ngo High School, the Steering Committee for COVID-19 Prevention and Control of Goyo District have a ceremony to hand over certificates to citizens completing their isolation for COVID-19 in accordance with regulation returning to their locality. 
This time, Goyo District granted certificates to 220 citizens completed the isolation time according to regulations in which 191 at Ngojitu High School, 21 at Phuc Dong General High School, and 10 ones at Phuc Thanh General High School. All of them have completed a 14-day concentrated isolation and had negative test results for SARS-CoV-2. Until now, Goyo District has received and isolated 624 people, including 38 ones at the health center and 586 ones at the concentrated areas, in which 510 citizens were discharged from the isolation areas, while 114 others are remaining in the concentrated isolation areas. The traditional Tet holiday or Tantanam to make of Khmer ethnic community is held from April 14 to 16 every year. This year is the holiday to play in the time when the whole country is implementing the Prime Minister Directive 16 on social distancing, banning public gatherings. In compliance with the regulations of the state, the Khmer people celebrated Tet holiday at home and the rituals were just performed by months. To prepare for celebrating the traditional third holiday of Chantanamtami, from the afternoon of April 13, the last day of the on year, everybody decorated their homes with pots of marigold, displaying flowers and roots in the heaven enter in front of their house. In addition, many houses also make practice to place on the table to welcome the New Year with lotus, bitter leaves, banana stem, etc., praying for a New Year with many raw pictures and lucky things. They are happy with celebrating that holiday at home. As usual, the pagoda is the common house of Khmer community during that holiday, but in 2020 New Year, both Tom Kiri Rangsi or Keron Pagoda became more deserted. On rituals and worship are performed by months. John Tanam Jame lasts more two days on April 15 and 16. Therefore, it is still concerned to ensure that people continue to strictly abide by the regulations by the Khmer Party Committee and People's Committee. The third holiday of Khmer people in Tandong Hamlet took place in line with the Prime Minister's guidance that this year John Tanam Jame is still going to be meaningful and believe in luck, goodness, but be more quiet with fulfilling the requirements of social dis- Distancing by Khmer community and months. They also agree that everyone would be at peace, closely and safely welcome to the Tanaptame Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 epidemic is currently very complicated. In Tainan, after two cases have been cured and discharged from hospital, there is still one case being treated in the isolation area of Tainan General Hospital. However, this patient's health has also been stabilized. Implementing the Prime Minister's direction of anti-epidemic as anti-enemy, the whole society is joining hands to prevent and control the epidemic, in which the provincial social insurance sector has a solution to ensure the rights of people, especially in the field of medical examination and treatment, with health insurance costs and support enterprises, as well as workers affected by the COVID-19. In order to take initiative and try hands to prevent and control COVID-19, from January 21, 2020, Vietnam Social Insurance has sent official dispatch number 280 to social insurance agencies of provinces and cities, the Ministry of National Defense, and the People's Police on coordinating payment of treatment costs with suspected SARS-CoV-2 infection. As soon as receiving this dispatch, the provincial social insurance agency proactively cooperate with the Department of Health and the medical examination and treatment facilities in the province to create the most favorable conditions for patients with health insurance costs so that it can implement timely medical examination or change to other hospitals up in appropriate levels as being suspected infection with SARS-CoV-2, whereby the health insurance fund will pay for those with health insurance costs when they examine due to suspected symptoms such as fever, 
cough, difficulty breathing, and test for diagnostic in case of P negative with COVID-2. If the result is positive and requires further treatment, on cost for treatment and testing will also be paid. Simultaneously, it will also immediately carry out the advance on cost for medical examination and treatment facilities in the first quarter of 2020, repair a sufficient amount of medicines related to the medical examination and treatment, the demand for medicine use of the patients. Recently, it also issued a document agreeing with the health sector along with medical examination and treatment facilities in the province on the estimated expenditure sources for epidemic prevention. When the epidemic situation has become more serious, the government applied the social isolation policy from April 1st to 15. It agreed with the outpatient medical examination and treatment facilities to provide enough medicines for two months for patients diagnosed with chronic diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, etc. in order to limit mass gathering. Mr. Võ Văn Thảo, Deputy Director of the Provincial Health Insurance, said that it will handle the regulations for people with health insurance costs and coordinate with medical examination and treatment facilities in the payment, settlement, advance of expenditures and medicines to ensure for people to check their health related to COVID-19. Meanwhile, the employees' employers have been seriously affected by the COVID-19 when the production situation has been stagnated. It has issued an instruction document and posted on its info portal on conditions for enterprises and units which are under cases of suspending payment of social insurance into the retirement and debt funds. Besides that, it is also ready to receive and immediately resolve the application for temporary suspension suspension of payment premium into the retirement and debt funds as soon as receiving the enterprise application and without calculating interest as prescribed, so far it has resolved to suspend the payment of premium into the retirement and debt funds for four units enterprises, while the remaining units are completing the documents to continue settling as prescribed. Mr. Phạm Văn Tâm, Deputy Director of the Provincial Health Insurance, said that it will instruct to make procedures for resolving cessation of retirement and debt funds for businesses affected by the epidemic. In addition, the workers who are affected by the epidemic will also be timely supported. At the same time, the short-term regulations for employees are also guaranteed and timely settled. The complicated situation of COVID-19 so that the party and state policies on health and social insurance have great humanitarian value, contributing to ensuring people's health care and stabilizing, consolidating people's confidence in the leadership of our party and state in the current peak of epidemic prevention. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time.